Hey guys, this is Anurban from the Tennis Wizard. So today I want to cover a topic that is often asked by parents and players. Um, is UTR good or bad for uh, player development? Well, you know, the concept of UTR is it's like an algorithm uh, from 1 to 16, 16 being the best and, you know, 1 being the beginner. Uh, and it rates you respective of your gender, um, age, uh, country you come from, right? So the whole goal is to kind of put a scale. It's almost like a handicap in golf. Um, you know, what people don't realize is like, you know, long before UTR, you know, the French uh, system, they already had their own rating. Uh, it was probably not as sophisticated as, um, you know, as an algorithm, uh, mathematical formula, but but there was a rating and that's how the French clubs have done this for years. And, you know, and I believe there's ratings like that in similar other, um, similar ratings um, in other countries. So going back to the UTR, I mean, I think uh, the idea is phenomenal, right? Like ITF has started that with WTN, that everybody, you know, you have to, you can play locally. You don't have to travel all over the world to play, to, to get a gauge of where you stand compared to your peers. And and also I think it's really good because you can get local matches at, um, at, a, at a very high level. So for an example, you know, in uh, Florida, they have this event called Battle of Boca at uh, Rick Macy's, right? I mean, you know, um, Every, every week, it's a prize money tournament, and the level is at least a 15K level, you know, maybe a 25K level, you know, for the men's, definitely a 25K level for the women's for most weeks, right? So you can go and pay 100 bucks and go play a great match. So, I mean, that's not the only one. There's like many other UTR events like that. So that's those, those things are really good, you know, getting quick gauge of where you stand and, um, you know, getting good competition. Now, there are some unintended consequences, some bad things about UTR that I have seen uh, very persistent in junior tennis. So one is these juniors live and die by UTR because as UTR is getting more prevalent or maybe with WTN, with any of the rating, right, there is a lot of pressure on, well, especially with UTR on the games won versus games lost because they count the number of games you win and you lose. So we have seen uh, many, many times that the kids get like really paralyzed, right? So they are losing, they want to just withdraw because they don't want to fight it out because they feel like, oh my God, my UTR is gonna go down, right? Or, you know, they're working on some goals about maybe being aggressive, coming to the net, but as soon as the match starts, they do not want to do that. And that's been a problem forever, right? I mean, I mean, this is, you know, the problem for the ages, right? Like people going to match, they get more conservative, with UTR, with junior players, that happens a lot more, right? Like, you know, so they are not willing to be experimental in match play. And I um, I remember a story, you know, this was um, uh, for long back, um, you know, one year, uh, you know, Leander Pace uh, from India, you know, he won, um, he, he won several junior Grand Slams, became world number one in doubles, top 70 in the world, but he was a phenomenal junior. And I remember he used to build up before the Grand Slams, right? Like, you know, going to Wimbledon or going into Australian Open because his goal was to win those. But he would play this series of events where he would work on things, right? Like, you know, um, you know, try even something like a Sabre, which, you know, Federer made it more famous later, but he was doing it 20, 25 years back. So, you know, and then I've seen him uh, in close quarters, lose early, lose early, lose early, experiment on those things, and then build it up and kind of set up for the right thing. Today, if kids are trying to do that in real matches, well, six, seven events, you do that, your UTR is going to be low. So I think that's a, that's a really bad thing. And then the college coaches, obviously, especially when you are, you know, high school age, there's so much focus on the UTR to maintain, to go to a certain college. And, you know, and, and I think that part hurts developmentally. Like, you know, people don't like to talk about it, but it does. But again, like any of these things, right, like rankings, rating, it depends on you on, on you know, how you can evolve from there. And hopefully your coaches and, um, you know, people around you are giving you the right guidance to focus on performance goals and not get hung up on something that you have no control on, right, like a UTR or a ranking or something like that. So again, we wish you all the best in your journey and thank you.